when productivity is that on every page, I have some of frequently used buttons. Hi, my name is Patricia with Regear Educational Services. Getting back in the swing of things of recording and just jumping in. My uh, top three quick pro tips that I'm gonna be sharing in a meeting about Stream Deck shortly is first of all, back it up. When you set up and spend all that time setting up um, Stream Deck, and I'll check if I have a video on to how to do that and link that, but definitely back it up. I have made icons with Canva. If I have a video about that, I'll, I'll link that as well. And I put all my icons, music, everything that I'm putting on to Stream Deck, I put in a folder on my desk, my desktop. Recommend to you to not move that into another location because that chain that breaks the link to everything that you have set up and linked as well. So those are my three top pro tips. When you set up Stream Deck, put everything in a folder, all your music, all the icons. I make create icons and visuals in Canva and add that to your different pages on your stream deck. And um, that's number two. And number three, don't then move that folder when you're cleaning up your desktop, leave it where it is, where it is. otherwise it will break those links. Hope these pro tips are helpful to you. Happy New Year and thanks for checking out this video about stream deck and the pro tips I'm going to be sharing shortly in a meeting that I'm joining now. Thanks for watching. And until next time, create engaging learning experiences online so that your audience turns into participants. So I have all, you know, music, sound effects, um, all ready to zoom. And then I can go back to my main page. I have timers. And um, so some of them I'll put on multiple pages. And I don't know about you, but I tend to forget sometimes about all of these apps that I bought at a great deal and lifetime and that kind of thing. So I've now set up a page of all of these apps and accounts. So it's a great visual reminder.